Hello Capricorn, again. I say again because I already made your reading and it got messed up. My, my camera froze and the rest of the video went like one of those Japanese movies where people are talking but the words don't match up. It was horrible and painful to watch so I got rid of it. I'm going to do another one. There, clear out these energies. Okay, there, before I start the reading, I like to give a plug to Intuitive Candles. Soy based candles smell beautiful, absolutely amazing. Brought to me by. <clears throat> Um, a member from uh, Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook. Her and her husband have this little company and they make these beautiful soy based candles and they're very unique. And she came to my house. She said she wanted to say thank you for all the all the hard work I do with the free readings, the general readings. Um, and she just wanted to show some appreciation for that. Um, so she um, came to my house and she brought a huge satchel full of all the different kinds. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to take that. I wanted to show you guys. All the different scents. And then I came across this one called Fundy Breeze. It smells heavenly. It's wonderful. And there's the candle. It's going. They have a website. <clears throat> they have a website, intuitivecandles.com. Go visit their website. What happens, what makes them so unique other than every other candle, and they smell fantastic. Um, and such a wide variety of scents as well. But this, this, um, you get a, when the wax melts down, you'll notice inside, sitting at the bottom of the can beneath the wax, is a little piece of tin foil, and you fish that out with tweezers or whatever. And then you unravel the tin foil, and you're left with a beautiful gift. And mine was, this is called an um, adventurine stone, good for intuitiveness, insight, sense of well-being, helps you sleep better, all kinds of wonderful things. You can look that up too. You can Google adventurine stone. It tells you everything this stone is, is uh, capable of doing for you. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. It's wonderful to touch. It's very comforting. It's very smooth. It's even warm in my hand. Anyways, intuitivecandles.com. There's your plug. Thank you again, Michelle. Okay, so let's see here. Capricorn. Round number two for you. Masters of the universe, spirit guides, masters of the natural world order. Please bring forth any messages that you may have for the sign of Capricorn. This mid-month December reading, 2016. This may or may not resonate with you on a personal level. But if you wanted a personal reading, I do offer that service. All the information on personal private readings is found in the description box below this window. Also, if you're new to um, the channel, or especially, more importantly, new to YouTube, um, please feel free and subscribe. The red subscription button below this video window. All subscriptions are free for those of you that don't know that. You will receive email notifications every time I post any new video, so you won't miss out. So this is Capricorn. We want messages for Capricorn for this mid-month reading for the month of December 2016. It's Christmas. It's definitely Christmas. Okay. So the Spirit tells me. Okay, right there it is. Five card spread using the Oceana Tarot deck written by Jane Mollis and the illustrator is Jane Delaford Taylor. This is a five card spread. First card is your overall energy. Destiny. Wheel of Fortune. 
card number two is your wealth and your finances. Nine of Swords represents anxiety. Third card is your love, your heart, and you do with love in your heart. The Ten of Wands about responsibility, practical things. Fourth card is judgment, is self-reflection. These are your challenges for mid-December. Capricorn. And fifth and last card in the Oceanic Tarot spread is your message from Spirit. You have the chariot and it's all about movement. This is your message from Spirit. And at the very end, I'll pull one significator for the overall reading from the deck of Tarot. Alright, so let's get right into the reading. Without further ado, hope y'all doing fine. Let's hope that this video goes okay. All right. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. This is card number one, and this is your overall energy. The keywords are fate, luck, the unexpected movement change, um, crossroads, clairvoyance. The advice of this card is um, not so much about doing as uh, or, or giving as, as receiving. The card is suggesting at this time for mid-December that you go with the flow. Uh, most things in your life that are going on right now and be grateful for all the good fortune that's coming your way never be be too s slow on the draw to express gratitude for anything that comes your way this card's a boost to your life as well it's very forward moving um card is um also saying a spirit is saying to um allow if if you feel like something is fate allow it to pull you forward right into your own destiny um, there, there'll be feelings of optimism, um, the turning, turning of unexpected chances into great decisions. Intuition is heightened at this point. So through all, from now until the end of December, your intuition is heightened. Go with the flow. If you feel fate is intervening, let it intervene and go with it as it leads you into uh, the destiny where you're supposed to be. There will be some movement for you moving forward, some changes, decisions to be made. Expect the unexpected. Okay, so your second card that I pulled for you in your wealth and finance sector is the Nine of Swords. It's about anxiety. Okay. And that's exactly what the Nine of Swords is all about. It's all about uh, worry anxiousness and so some of you are worried about your financial status your financial reign um there's a lot of worrying going on some of you are being real quiet about it and you're not sharing that information i want to pull my book on this one because it it, it is rather um important so let me see here Nine of Swords. Not one of my favorite cards. But, well, wrong area. East. Okay. So the Nine of Swords is the anxi anxiety card of the tarot. It reveals troubles beneath the surface and is often expressed through dreams and nightmares. What's eating you up? You may be anxious due to pressure, overwork, relationships, or family issues, or anxiety may be a pattern for you as a warrior. On a physical level, it can show someone not sleeping well due to stress or overthinking. The advice of the card, what ties you up at knots in 3 a.m. looks smaller in the light of day. Try to keep perspective when negative thoughts get in the way. The keywords are panic attack, fear, guilt, insomnia, nightmare, stress, and mental overload. <clears throat> Focus in on what it said. You know, what looks, um, what looks really horrible and terrible in the middle of the night as you're laying there sleepless, wide awake, um, and you can't seem to shut your brain off. Come the light of day, it won't seem nearly as bad. Um, it's like the boogeyman in the closet. We know, we know, we, we believe they're there at night, but in the daytime, it's just got your sneakers and your sports, sporting equipment and clothes and things like this. And 
in the closet is not nearly so threatening. Some of this could be an overreaction. Some of this is fear based on things that could happen or what ifs. Don't do that to yourself with your financial situation. Do not do a lot of what ifs. You only focus where you need to focus. If something has gone awry, then this is this 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 card shows that. But the card says this is what you're doing to yourself. You're making things a little bit worse than they really actually are. And for some of you, these are fears are even unfounded. No real rhyme or reason. Um, it's almost like things have been going so well, you're waiting for something to go wrong. And some people live their life by that. Um, if everything is wrong, isn't wrong, then nothing is right. Don't be doing that. Okay. Okay. So the third card is in your health, your love, your sec uh, heart sector. Ten of Wands. It's about responsibility. Okay, right off the top, I had this card earlier too, uh, it's burdens and overload, confusion, exhaustion, priorities, pressure, and blocks. The advice is to set boundaries to reduce stress, so that, <clears throat> to reduce stress, and you may need to say no to certain people at this time between now and the end of December. Um, maybe one or two of you feel an ache in your heart that you've had to, to say no to somebody. You need to steer clear of negative people at this time because it's not helping. It's leaving you. Um, some people are bringing their burdens to you, and you have enough on your plate right now. Um, asking yourself and confused, why is this happening right now? Why is this happening to me? You're exhausted from it all. There, there just seems to be some pressure going on and blocks that may be coming from family members somebody very very close to you I would say family members are putting some expectations on you and you're beginning to feel a burden of overload um, so the advice of the cards is how do you fix this it says to set boundaries to reduce your stress and you may need to say no to certain people if you find yourself somebody comes to you and they say you know I, I really need your help with this um, could you could you could you loan me some money could you um, help me work on something that I'm working on? I need your expert. If it's too much for you, then it's too much for you. It's just that simple. So you'll need to say, for those of you that you don't want to hurt their feelings, say, I cannot say yes right now. I have to say no. Due to previous commitments, my workload, I'm too busy. Come back and see me in about a month or so or in a few weeks and ask me again. And we'll discuss it and see what we can do. So that's that seems to be the fair thing to do there. So you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's in your love and your heart, romance, family, sector. Okay, so the fourth card I pulled for you is your challenges for mid-month December Capricorn. And it's judgment. It's about self-reflection. Okay. This card indicates it's time for you to revisit the past and take stock before moving on. You may muse on a happier time. You may discover unfinished business. You may visit someone from the past to find some answers. You may ask if you did the right thing at the time. Another meaning of this card is a spiritual connection linking, the, uh, linking with those in the spirit world, spirit guides, angels, and loved ones. The king um, of the um, uh, thinking of um, giving somebody from your past a second chance is li liable to rise to the surface at this time as well. If if the second chance is coming on for you personally, don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself another a chance, another shot. And don't be too hard on yourself. Keywords are contemplation, self-judgment, guilt, second chance of spirituality, and memories. So your challenges for the month are going to be go easy on you. Give yourself another chance. Give yourself some breathing room. Realize that 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 nobody's perfect and that you um 
you're, you're, you're really, really being hard on yourself at this time. The card's telling you not to do that. Don't do that. There's your challenge. There's one anyway. The other one is you may discover unfinished business. It may prompt you to visit somebody from the past to get some answers. You're wondering, you're wondering what I did in the past with a certain person. Did I do the right thing? Was it the right thing to do? Because there's been a little bit of guilt that's been plaguing you over it. Um, allow yourself these mistakes and accept that you made them and try again. The card is suggesting to go back and try again. The spirit guide, somebody from, somebody from the other side is walking with you at this time. They're walking with you at this time. I see a man in his 40s, late 40s, wearing, you know, those black and red lumberjack shirts. You can get them in jacket form or just in, sh he's wearing, he's wearing that. That means anything to any of you out there. Dark hair, uh, mustache, and one of those black and red lumberjack shirts or jackets that, that people wear. That's your spirit that's walking with you. And now your message from spirit, the chariot movement. Ah, where's my book again? That's a major arcana, just like the judgment card was, so the, the power of the uh, meaning is even stronger. So here we've got the chariot, and this is your message from spirit. It's always about forward movement. Things are not going to remain stagnant. You are going to move forward. Any ventures that you have going on in your life right now, it's a good card. Um, you're in complete control of which way you're moving, which direction that you're going in as well. So it's time to make some serious progress. Travel is favored now as our most moves connected with work. Chariot. The card is also a general sign that every aspect of your life will surge forward. However, you're going to find that you need some balance, and it's very necessary that you that you retain a balance. That you may you may need to treat people around you with special care because this card is a card of energy rather than sensitivity, meaning that you could you can step on somebody's toes, bruise a few egos, bruise a few feelings, and People aren't real quick to forgive and forget when their feelings have been hurt. It's just in the human nature, we tend to remember the negative faster than the good. Um, this card also reveals that good timing and being aware of your ego will be essential if you're to keep your show on the road. An additional meaning of this card is acquiring a new car or another vehicle. Yahoo! Right at Christmas time. That must be nice to be you. Kidding. But, yeah. I wish it was me. Um, the advice of the card. It's time act of, actively to move forward um, with your plans. Keep your ego in check. And don't forget to enjoy this time of power and motivation. Keywords for this card are journeys, determination, willpower, progress, friction, guidance, and protection. Feeling highly protective. That came up in the previous reading as well that I had just done for you. Um... A fear of losing a grip on something that's very important to you. Actually, several things that are very important to you. You feel under threat for some reason that maybe um, it's almost, it's not from anyone particular. It's just the way you've been viewing life lately. And you know that things can happen on a dime. Things can change very, 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 very quickly. So, it is what it is. So, you know, if it, if it brings you peace to, to be a little extra cautious and a little bit more protective of your projects or the people in your life, things that are going on to, um, like your bank account as well, the worry about that, um, go ahead and place some protection over it. If it makes you feel good, it brings you peace of mind so you're not tossing and turning at 3 a.m. in the morning. Keep your integrity in check. 
Get your ducks in a row. Prioritize. Integrity. Prioritize. Ducks in a row. These are the things you'll need to remember. This is your message from spirit for the finer things and the more important things that are in the forefront of your life right now. All right, so now we're going to get your significator. Spirit guides master of the universe, master of the natural world order. Please bring forth one significator for the sign of Capricorn. For the five card spread, the Ocean and Tarot deck. For this general mid December reading, 2016, for Capricorn, one significator. These are going to be your, this is going to be your card. And I pulled the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Wands are all about practical things. And of course, my little book. The Eight of Wands, this card will often represent the type of cathartic discussion, which ends confusion. The Eight of Wands always brings a new surge of energy and freshness when it appears. It often sing signals entry into a new phase or project, one which stands a good chance of success. Right off the top, what I'm hearing is all the worry and all the stress that you're going under is for naught. You can be concerned and be aware and be realistic. But the things that are keeping you awake at night, the things that are um, playing on your mind, causing you discomfort, causing you moments of unhappiness and feelings of bleakness, there's, it's all for naught. You need, you, need to put, you need to get a fresh perspective, just like this card says. A fresh perspective. So you take and you metaphorically gather up your woes and your worries. Okay? You take and prioritize them. And how real are these situations? Are they what ifs? Are they worried? Worries with no foundation beneath them? There's really nothing to worry about, nothing to cause that. Maybe your own nature is, um, um, Allowing your fears to come to the forefront, your deep fears, deep, deep-seated fears. Maybe things have been going along quite well. You have no reasons. There's been no inclination um, on what you need to worry about. These, it, it's almost like a paranoia. Um, things have been going so well and on time, and there's a beautiful rhythm. What's, what's going to happen, and when is it coming at me? When's the other boot going to drop? Don't think that way. You almost invite that kind of thing in to you within your within your realm of your reality and of your now don't do that everything is okay the, this card is come forth to tell you the overall reading lessens the negativity that we've seen with the nine of swords right this kind of thing it lessens the degree the intensity of the worrying and staying up at night be realistic keep your feet on the ground and you'll do just fine you really really will Okay, Capricorn, let's hope this one goes off without uh, too much trouble getting it uploaded and whatnot. I want to take this time to say, um, for those of you celebrating the Christmas um, season, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and all that good stuff. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas from me um, and Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And all I can do 
is hope and pray that the spirit of the season finds you and finds you well. And if you're not well, that it makes you well. That you feel the things that are important in the spirit of Christmas. The love, joy, laughter, camaraderie, family, friends, good warm meals, um, and contentment. May you feel contentment during this time, that it all is right with the world. That is my Christmas wish to you. So, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Please enjoy the rest of December. We'll see you back here 2017. Bye-bye.